Hello and welcome to the session. In this session, first we shall discuss converse problem for section formula. Let us quickly revise section formula first. The section formula states that the coordinates of the point which divides internally the line joining two given points in a given ratio is given by x is equal to m1 into x2 plus m2 into x1 upon m1 plus m2 and y is equal to m1 into y2 plus m2 into y1 whole upon m1 plus m2 here P is the point with the coordinates x, y which divides internally the line joining the two given points A and B with the coordinates x1, y1 and x2, y2 respectively in the given ratio that is m1 is to m2. If the division is external, Then the coordinates x, y of point P is given by x is equal to m1 into x2 minus of m2 into x1 whole upon m1 minus m2 and y is equal to m1 into y2 minus of m2 into y1 whole upon m1 minus m2 for external division, the coordinates x, y of point P which divides externally the line joining the two given points A and B with the coordinates x1, y1 and x2, y2 respectively in the given ratio that is m1 is to m2 is given by x is equal to m1 into x2 minus m2 into x1 till upon m1 minus m2 and y is equal to m1 into y2 minus m2 into y1 whole upon m1 minus m2. Now we shall discuss the converse of what we had just studied known as converse problem for section formula. Converse problem is to find out the ratio in which a given point divides the join of the given points let us take an example if the point P whose coordinates are 4, 2 divides the line segment joining the points A and B whose coordinates are 2, minus 4 and 8, 14 respectively, find the ratio in which point P divides A and B. Here we are given a point P whose coordinates are 4, 2 which divides the line segment joining the points A and B with the coordinates 2, minus 4 and 8, 14 respectively. Now we need to find the ratio in which point P divides A and B. Here we are given point A with the coordinates 2 minus 4, point B with the coordinates 8, 14 and point P with the coordinates 4, 2. So the value of x1 is equal to 2 the value of y1 is equal to minus 4, x2 is equal to 8 and y2 is equal to 14. The value of x is given as 4 and the value of y is given as 2. Now let the ratio be mu is to 1 that is m1 is equal to mu and m2 is equal to 1. And we need to find this ratio. Now the working rule is as follows. The first step is let the required ratio be mu is to 1. Now using section formula
वी नो दैट एक्स इज इक्वल टू एम वन इंटू एक्स टू प्लस एम टू इंटू एक्स वन होल अपॉन एम वन प्लस एम टू एंड वाई इज इक्वल टू एम वन इंटू वाई टू प्लस एम टू इंटू वाई वन होल अपॉन एम वन प्लस एम टू नाउ वी शेल कैलकुलेट कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ पॉइंट पी विच डिवाइड दी गिवन पॉइंट ए एंड बी इन दी रेशो न्यू इज टू वन देन कॉर्डिनेट्स ऑफ पॉइंट पी आर गिवन बाय x is equal to m1 into x2 that is mu into 8 plus m2 into x1 that is 1 into 2 that is 2 whole upon m1 plus m2 that is mu plus 1 and y is equal to m1 into y2 that is mu into 14 plus m2 into y1 that is 1 into minus 4 Whole upon m1 plus m2, that is mu plus 1, which implies that x is equal to 8 mu plus 2 upon mu plus 1, and y is equal to 14 mu minus 4 upon mu plus 1. Now in the next step, we equate the coordinates obtained in step 2 to the given coordinates. That is. Equating the x coordinates, we get x is equal to 8 mu plus 2 upon mu plus 1, which is equal to 4, which implies that 8 mu plus 2 is equal to 4 into mu plus 1, that is. 4 into mu plus 4, which implies that 8 mu minus 4 mu, that is equal to 4 mu, is equal to 4 minus 2, that is 2. Therefore, mu is equal to 2 by 4, which is equal to 1 by 2. Or we can also equate the y coordinates. That is, equating the y coordinates, we get. y is equal to 14 mu minus 4 upon mu plus 1 which is equal to 2 which implies that 14 mu minus 4 is equal to 2 into mu plus 1 that is 2 mu plus 2 which implies that 14 mu minus 2 mu is equal to 12 mu which is equal to 2 plus 4 that is 6 therefore The value of mu is equal to 6 by 12, which is equal to 1 by 2. Therefore, from both the cases, we can say that the required ratio is. One is to two. Since the value of mu is positive, therefore the division is internal. If mu comes out to be negative, then the division will be external. Now we shall discuss how to find area of a quadrilateral. Let A B C D be a quadrilateral. And its area is to be determined. ABCD is a quadrilateral whose area is to be determined. We divide it into two triangles: triangle ABC and triangle ACD. Now we find the area of these triangles, and by adding the area of both the triangles, we get the area of the quadrilateral ABCD. For calculating this area, we take the vertices in order. That is. Point A with the coordinates a1, a2. Point B with the coordinates b1, b2. 
point C with the coordinates C1, C2 and point D with the coordinates D1, D2. Area of quadrilateral ABCD is equal to area of triangle ABC plus area of triangle ACD Now area of triangle ABC is equal to 1 by 2 into A1 into B2 minus of A2 into B1 plus B1 into C2 minus of C1 into B2 plus C1 into A2 minus of C2 into A1 plus area of triangle ACD which is given by 1 by 2 into A1 into C2 minus of A2 into C1 plus C1 into B2 minus of C2 into B1 plus D1 into A2 minus of A1 into B2 On solving this we get 1 by 2 into A1 into B2 minus of A2 into B1 plus B1 into C2 minus of B2 into C1 plus C1 into D2 minus of C2 into D1 plus D1 into A2 minus of A1 into D2 which can also be written in this form that is we write the x coordinates and y coordinates of the vertices in two columns as shown. The x coordinate and y coordinate of the first vertex is occurring twice and we multiply diagonally attaching negative sign to the multiplication from right to left and positive sign to multiplication from left to right and divide the result by 2. Let us take an example. Find the area of the quadrilateral whose vertices are 2, 4, minus 1, minus 2, 3, minus 5 and 6, 1. Let A, B, C, D be the given quadrilateral with vertices A with the coordinates 2, 4 B with the coordinates minus 1, minus 2 C with the coordinates 3, minus 5 and D with the coordinates 6, 1 and we know that area of quadrilateral A, B, C, D is given by 1 by 2 into 2 into minus 2 minus of 4 into minus 1 plus minus 1 into minus 5 minus of minus 2 into 3 plus 3 into 1 minus of minus 5 into 6 plus 6 into 4 minus of 1 into 2 which is equal to 1 by 2 into 2 into minus 2 that is minus 4 minus 4 into minus 1 that is plus 4 plus minus 1 into minus 5 that is 5 minus of minus 2 into 3 that is plus 6 plus 3 into 1 that is 3 minus of minus 5 into 6 that is plus 30 plus 6 into 4 that is 24 minus 1 into 2 that is minus 2 therefore we have 1 by 2 into minus 4 plus 4 that is 0 plus 5 plus 6 that is 11 
प्लस थ्री प्लस थर्टी दैट इज थर्टी थ्री प्लस ट्वेंटी फोर माइनस टू दैट इज ट्वेंटी टू दो फोर वी हैव वन बाय टू इन टू इलेवन प्लस थर्टी थ्री प्लस ट्वेंटी टू दैट इज सिक्सटी सिक्स विच इज इक्वल टू थर्टी थ्री दे फोर एरिया ऑफ दी गिवन कॉर्डिलेटरल is 33 square units now we are going to discuss slope of a line making equal angles with the axis here we shall discuss two cases one when the value of theta is equal to 45 degrees and the second case when the value of theta is equal to 135 degrees Now our first case is when the value of theta is equal to 45 degrees then the value of the slope that is m is equal to tan of theta that is tan of 45 degrees which is equal to 1 and in the second case we have the value of theta as 135 degrees here the value of the slope that is m is equal to tan of theta that is tan of 135 degrees which is equal to minus 1 therefore the value of m is equal to plus minus of 1 when the line makes equal angle with the axis we should also note that when a line makes equal angles with the axis it cuts off equal intersects on the axis that is when a line makes equal angles with the axis it cuts off equal intersects on the axis also we have if a line is parallel to the x axis its inclination is 0 degrees and its slope that is tan of theta which means tan of 0 degrees is equal to 0 and if a line is perpendicular to the x axis its inclination is 90 degrees and so its slope that is tan of theta which is equal to tan of 90 degrees is equal to infinity that is a line parallel to y axis has no slope as tan of 90 degrees does not exist this completes our session hope you enjoyed this session